guys, welcome back to my channel. So about a year and a half, two years ago, I decided to buy the Blanc and Eclair skincare line. And I had said that I would do a review on it once I got enough information on it, once I tried it out for long enough. And so that is today's video. If you guys haven't seen my unboxing of the Blanc and Eclair products, I suggest you watch that video. I will link it down below for you guys to watch so that way you guys can kind of get a little background of what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So if you guys don't know what Blanc and Eclair is, it is a company that was founded by Jessica Jung. She is very well famously known for being in Girls' Generation, a K-pop artist, and she decided that she wanted to branch out into the fashion world. And she started off with her company called Blanc. She originally named Blanc and Eclair just Blanc, but then she found out that there was another company called Blanc and, you know, she decided to rename it Blanc and Eclair, which actually I like Blanc and Eclair a lot better than just Blanc. So she first started off with sunglasses. Now she's ventured out into skincare, into clothing, into iPhone accessories, into just all these different things, hats, you know, chargers and things like that. So she's really getting out there and putting out more products and I honestly can't wait to see what she's going to be doing next. I guess I'll do a little review on the sunglasses. This is what they came in. I really like the box. It's sturdy. I did end up keeping this because I just really like it. I feel like it will come in handy if I'm ever going to be moving and I can keep my sunglasses in this and make sure that it's safe and I, I just like displaying it right here. It's just really nice. It's sturdy cardboard. And this is what the sunglasses come in. When I first got these, I think you guys will probably see my reaction, so I won't redo it again. I really actually like the way that this is packaged, sunglasses case. I like that it has the magnetic clothing and opening. And then when you open it, you see the logo right here with nice velveteen velvet lining. And then you have the sunglasses right here. It comes with a cleaning cloth also that says Blanc and Claire. Really nice. And it's actually quite thick, which is, again, really nice. So I ended up getting the Soul sunglasses. It was between these ones and another pair, but I can't remember for the life of me of what they are called, the name. Now she has like a bazillion sunglasses and it's like, I don't even know what my next ones would be because I do want to purchase some more. And so I really did like these. I ended up getting just black. These are holding out really good. I've used these a good deal of times. The first time when I tried them out was when I went to a birthday party at a zoo. And so I was in the sun a lot. They did hold up pretty well for being in the sun, especially in the desert. I do use these whenever I go to school or out or whatever. I'm not, I think I mentioned that I'm not the biggest sunglasses user, but these have changed me. I use these practically every day whenever I go out, so gotta protect the eyeballs. Okay, so on to the actual skincare review. So I ended up buying, I have the website right here, so if I'm looking this way it's because I'm trying to get the information because my brain cannot retain anything. So I did end up getting the Daily Moisture Set, which came with four different items, a toner, an ampoule, and two creams, two moisturizing creams. So the first one is the Serene Effervescent Toner Daily Hydration. So this is what it looks like. Pretty much just dump it either into your hand or into a cloth and you put it on like a toner. I would actually put it on clean hands and just kind of pat it in and just let it sink into my skin like that. Now of course I did not finish this all the way probably because this has taken me the longest to finish. Honestly, a little goes a long way with this product. So this is supposed to give you moisture with low stickiness, dry skin in need of moisture, sensitive to external stressors and at risk for further agitation. Rich finish recharges tired skin with a surge of moisture in Tasmanian water and a bunch of other ingredients that I cannot read or even think out to work together to firm, rehydrate, and strengthen the skin barrier. So I do feel like this moisturized my skin a lot without it feeling heavy or a lot of stickiness. At first you do feel a bit of stickiness, but once it sinks into your skin, that goes away. It definitely did leave my skin feeling soft and moisturized. And I do like the fact that it has Tasmanian rainwater in it. That sounds really nice. 
But I will say my overall thoughts is kind of like, I'm not in love with it, but I don't hate it. I know she does have a mist, a spray. So I think that maybe if I had gotten that instead of this, maybe I would love it even more. Maybe if this was more of a spray mist kind of toner, if you guys know what I mean, because I have a couple of them. Toners do come in a spray mist formation now. And I think maybe I would have liked it a little bit more as a spray maybe because I did feel refreshed after I would use this. So next is Serene Robust Ample Serum Enriching Boost. I really, really like this product. This was the first one that I finished and I was super, super sad. This is my first, this was actually really the first time using a serum, Ample Serum. And this is supposed to apply deep nutrition with a gentle, moist finish. And this was supposed to also leave my skin feeling smooth and also strengthening the barrier of my skin for healthy skin and I definitely feel like this did provide enough moisture it left my skin feeling a little bit more smoother after I would use it I really liked the texture of it it was a watery gel based and it didn't feel heavy it didn't feel you know oily after I would put it on or anything like that I would put it on my fingers rub it and then I would just go tap it around my face and just wait a couple of minutes for it to really sink into my skin before I would step into the next product so one thing that I do also like is the packaging I really like how it has the frosted glass all of the products that I'm showing right now do have the frosted glass but I feel like this is kind of one of those products where I can't tell where I finished it or not because the stopper once I reach the bottom I don't think it really goes all the way so whenever I would like squeeze it I couldn't get the rest of it so I would kind of have to dump it upside down and I didn't mention how much each of these products were altogether I did pay $207 for four of them, which is pretty much the same if I were to pay separately. This was $36. This was $60. So this was expensive. This was very, very expensive. So you bet your bottom dollar. I was going to use all of it, even if I had to get like a Q-tip and finish it all out. This is the Serene moisturizing cream luxurious hydration i do still have some of it left so i'm still trying to finish it off and this is what i use for my day daily daytime everyday moisturizer before i put makeup on and this revitalizes tired and dry skin with nourishment to look lively and refreshed i actually really did like this moisturizer it was a it was more of a gel base than an actual like heavy cream moisturizing base. It definitely gave me plenty of moisture without being heavy or leaving my skin greasy. It didn't leave my skin sticky or anything like that. It was very light. I really really like this one as a daily moisturizer. So the last item is the Serene Nourishing Night Cream Intense Regeneration. This is the second item that I have totally and completely finished. And I actually really, really loved it. And this is supposed to apply a dose of rich moisture to uneven skin, making it smooth and shiny. Dual functioning night cream brightens while supplying rich nutrition for vibrant skin. So this is definitely more heavier than the day cream. I am using right now the Drunk Elephant Whipped Lala Retro Whipped Cream or whatever it's called. They have about the same consistency and heaviness, but I think the Drunk Elephant is just a tad bit more heavier. This didn't leave my skin feeling oily or greasy or anything like that. That's usually what I'm a little bit afraid of whenever I do try new night creams, that they're gonna leave my skin greasy or heavy. This left it mainly moisturized, feeling really, really soft and smooth the next day. As far as the brightening properties, I saw a little bit of brightening, but not like totally, totally crazy enough where I was like, okay, this is nice. And I also really love the packaging of these ones. I'm going to be keeping these on my dresser, my vanity for really purely for decoration because they're, they're just really, really cute and pretty. And I'm obsessed with the packaging that she did. I feel like she really nailed it with the packaging. So overall, what would I recommend? What wouldn't I recommend? What did I fall in love with? What didn't I fall in love with? I did really like the sunglasses. They are over $200. Do I think you can find a pair for half the price? 
that do exactly the same thing? Yeah, I totally do. I mainly bought them because I wanted to show support to Jessica because I have been a fan of hers ever since I really discovered her in Girls' Generation. And so this is really me buying to support her. I really do like them. I, again, I use them for everyday use. So they aren't like the bright flashy type of sunglasses. They aren't the huge like bug eye type of sunglasses. They mesh really well with really whatever I wear. You can dress them up and you can dress them down. It's really up to you. As far as the skincare products that I would recommend, the toner, I wouldn't really recommend. I do feel for the price, again, you're paying for her name. So I do feel that maybe you could find a toner that does a little bit more for, you know, a quarter of the price. The ampoule serum, I really did like this. If you're wanting to buy a expensive product to show support, to try out, in this case, Jessica's brand, if you're willing to spend the money, to try it out, then be my guest. Do I feel like there might be other products of this sort that are cheaper that do the exact same thing? Yeah. Do I feel like there are products who are way more expensive, who don't do any of these things? Yeah. This is kind of like that middleman. You really have to try it out to figure it out for yourself. I personally really, really liked it. As far as the moisturizers, I really did love them. Between the two, however, I would definitely recommend the night cream because I do feel that while the day cream, it is great for everyday moisture, I feel like that's pretty much all it did. It would give my skin enough moisture for me to put on my makeup and keep it so that way it doesn't get dry throughout the day. Whereas the night cream, it did pretty much the exact same thing, only with a little bit more properties. It left my skin looking a little bit more brighter. It left my skin feeling smooth and soft. It's like with the ampoule, are there products of this kind that are less expensive that do the same thing? Yeah. Are there products that are more expensive that do the same thing? Yeah. All of this is purely just based on my own experiences, my own thoughts, and how my skin reacted to it. Luckily, I think for me, I was more concerned if I, I really wanted to like these products. Also mainly because I was a little bit scared that if I started using these products for a while, my skin would react to it. They did not. <laughs> I don't consider my skin to be sensitive, but I do like to watch what I put on my skin, if that makes sense. But luckily for me, they did not cause any reaction on my skin. The entire collection left my skin feeling very soft, very hydrated and moisturized. Like, seriously. It felt real, my skin felt real good. Out of the entire four items, I would definitely recommend the night cream because I feel with this it's in between that not expensive and expensive line. I feel like you can get a little bit more out of the creams than you can with the ampoule serum or the toner. So yeah, that is going to be it for this review. I hope that I listed all my thoughts and stuff in this video. I probably missed a couple of things. I just really wanted to get this video out and review because I have been wanting to film this video for a while now actually. I finished some, two of these items. I'm currently finishing the other two. Like you know this one is probably the most. I know the other moisturizer daily cream. I do probably have like two more uses of it left. And so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of talking. My butt is numb. Let me know if you guys are thinking of trying these items. If you have, what you thought of them. Do you guys think they're worth it? I know when she first came out, a lot of people were like, <laughs> And really all I can say is yes it is expensive but you also have to think that you are paying for her name you are paying for her brand just like any other designer label you buy a handbag from you know Chanel or Louis Vuitton you're buying the brand name so it's pretty much the same with Blanc and Eclair granted it's more in the middle range in between of being not expensive and expensive. Of course, there are definitely items that are more expensive than some of the products that I listed and there are products that are definitely not as expensive. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. If you guys tried out any of these products, if you guys are thinking of trying out any of these products, what do you guys hope for Jessica to put out next? I really want her to do 
makeup. I want her to do more hats. I really been wanting to buy her hat. I'm just really excited to see what else she's going to do. Of course, music. I want her to do more music. I think she's really doing great with her line. She really cares about it. She really cares about her fans and it really shows. Thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Can't